All right, so uh, today's video is a quick demonstration video of a silicone controlled rectifier. And this particular one is the MCR 100-6G that you see there. And uh, it's a good thing to look up the data sheet to better understand the component. But for uh, this video, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration. The uh, silicone controlled rectifier is a lot like a diode. In fact, we got the flat edge facing right here. So this bottom pin here is the cathode. The top pin is the anode. And uh, so right now, basically it's forward biased. But it happens to be off. It has a gate, the middle pin. And the gate needs a positive pulse for it to work and or it could be a steady steady voltage but I'm gonna plug this into the positive there and do the actual demonstration of what this circuit does so right now you can see the LED is off the capacitor is discharged in fact we will make sure that it's discharged there we go so now I'm gonna plug this in and just quickly touch this resistor and you'll notice the LED turned on for a bit and then it turned off. So right now the capacitor is uh, charged as far as this circuit is concerned. And now to look at this circuit a little more closely we will measure the voltage. So I have the meter set to 20 volts because we're dealing with 5 volts or less. Make sure the probe is in the voltage slot there and we just have to hit the uh, power button now we're measuring voltage so we don't have to short circuit it to make sure that the capacitor is discharged now we can just measure it directly and this is pretty close to discharge pretty much completely so I'm gonna hold the uh, probes with one hand and then just quickly pulse the uh, resistor there we go and you can see that the voltage goes up and when it gets to Two volts for this particular circuit for the capacitor charging then uh, the LED goes out that's because the capacitor now is limiting the current enough where the silicone controlled rectifier turns off but while the current is high enough the silicone controlled rectifier stayed on after we gave the pulse now if I hold this to the gate you can see the LED came on a little bit, but right now the capacitor is charging through the uh, gate. And uh, so that's not the main point of what the silicone controlled rectifier does. But uh, as you can see, you can still get current through the gate there. But the main takeaway was that uh, once it turned on, it stayed on until there was too low of uh, current to keep it on. So now before we move along I want to say what all these parts are. So this is a 1000 microfarad capacitor and uh, there you can see 1000 microfarad. For some reason they don't uh, talk about capacitors in the millifarad usually once in a while they might. Usually they have the value in thousands of uh, microfarads. If it is a large enough capacitor to be in the thousands of microfarads and uh, I already said that the silicone control rectifier we're using is the MCR 106G and uh, this is a 10,000 ohm resistor the resistance value is not terribly important LED of course with about a 1.8 volt drop about that and this is a 2000 ohm resistor so this value of resistor since I did a quick pulse the current getting to the capacitor once the silicon control direct fire turned on was the current going through the resistor and the LED so we had the voltage drop and then the volt the uh, resistance of the LED 2000 ohms of resistance whatever that current was and as the capacitor went from 0 volts to 2 volts though the voltage difference between the power source and the capacitor were not as great so less current flowed and when current got low enough I don't know the exact value I haven't studied the circuit that much 
But once current got low enough, it wasn't enough to keep the SCR on. So it turned off, and of course it stays off until you do something with the gate again, even if you discharge the capacitor. And so now I removed the LED and shifted the 2000 ohm resistor down to here so that it's coming to the anode without the voltage drop of the LED. So the circuit won't light up this time but uh, we're just going to take the uh, multimeter measurement and by the way be careful you don't short circuit anything if you have a wire from the positive rail floating around like that. I just ruined another one of these breadboard supplies because I let the wire get up there to touch it and uh, so I'm down to my last one I just ordered some new ones but there you can see when I uh, triggered the gate with the positive pulse now we're much higher than uh, 2 volts we're at 3 point uh, about 8 volts that's because the LEDs that I use and uh, probably uh, most of these breadboard LEDs are going to block about 1.8 volts especially at low current closer to 2.2 volts at higher current so we got about 1.8 volts more for the capacitor to charge before the current dropped down enough to turn off the SCR 